When I first heard Matt bring up oikos, I never heard the word, um, and I have a lot of Greek friends, so when I found out what it meant, it made more sense when I hear them say it. Um, but it made me realize to look around at who my oikos is, and at that time, it was really just my close family and friends. Um, but as time's gone on, I realize who we spend our time with, and um, we spend a lot of time in sports, and so that's our oikos too now. And I never would have put that together until I heard that sermon from Matt, so Pastor Matt. And so since I've heard that, it really makes me look around now that we've been here and settled in who those people are in our day-to-day -day lives. You're, you're at the grocery store, you're here, you're there, whether you're with your oikos or just in general. Um, people are always watching you. People are always listening to you. So you don't know that you're making a difference. You don't know who you're impacting, or you don't know who you will impact by what you have to say. My daughter is on a travel softball team, um, and we spend the majority of our time with them. If I'm not working, we are at softball. So you're around a group of people, whether it's kids, adults, or coaches, that um, talk to you, and you are family. So they will open up and tell you things that are going on in their lives, and you don't realize it. You, you know, some of these conversations are just in passing, and it may not hit you. Um, or sometimes they really do. And when you spend that amount of time with people, you, you realize, okay, this is my oikos. They are my eight to 12 people. My daughter, Caitlin, her head coach, um, and I were talking one day and he just looked really down. And so I just said, hey, what's going on? If you want to talk about it, great. If you don't, it's okay. And um, come to find out, you know, one of his friends has terminal cancer. And then he's also going through some personal things as well. So the more he talked, all I could do is I had goosebumps come all over me, and all I could do was look at him and say, life is messy. And he broke down in tears, and I could empathize, but I couldn't give him the answers he wanted. So it made me feel like I need to share what has changed my life over the past year to somebody else. Coming to this church and um, following Jesus and God again the way I grew up, um, and opening my heart back up um, has changed a lot. The way I see people, the way I see things that have happened to my family or myself in the past, um, where I used to blame things, um, I now feel like um, there's not always gonna be an answer. Um, don't get angry and upset. Um, just go with it, whether you like it right now or not. You never know who's listening to what you have to say. So, you know, don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to speak up. Write down who you think your oikos is. You know, that 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 circle with the spikes going out, I'll never forget, because that's what I went home and did. And I, I would suggest that to anybody, because you don't, you who you think is your oikos and who I thought was mine, it's more, there's more to it.